Hi, welcome to Pamper Chef Cooking with Rob. I'm Rob. Today we're going to make some air fryer french fries. Uh, yummy in the air fryer. You don't have to use grease. Uh, I'm going to turn out great. So what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, to start off, is I've got to get my potatoes ready. So I've already cleaned them, already washed them. Um, some of you will want to peel them. I, I like my french fries with the peel on, so I'm going to leave it on. And then we're going to use the... Uh, Rapid Prep Mandolin, and if you haven't used this yet, wow, you are missing. You heard the suction as I picked it up. Um, it does suction to the counter, um, so it doesn't move, but if you have not seen this, this is a great item from Pampered Chef. Um, there are several different settings here. We can slice, dice, no, we're going to slice, it can slice, french fry, and julienne, and there are eight different settings here, that uh, eight different thicknesses, so I'm going to put it on the thickest setting. I'm going to put it on eight. I'm going to put it on the french fry setting. Okay, so you could do fried potatoes with this. It would be delicious because you can just slice those potatoes evenly um, and quickly. Um, now we're set up for our french fries. All i got to do is put the little hopper on. It will catch my french fries. The great thing about the rapid prep mandolin is that instead of, instead of me running the item through, i got to get the piece on, Instead of me running the item across the blade and, and risking uh, cutting myself, um, once I put this hopper on, I'm not going to come in contact with the blade at all. All I'm going to do is use the handle. The blade is going to meet the uh, potato, and uh, my hands are going to be free. So I'm going to drop in the first potato. Got my little pusher here. And all I've got to do... goodness and now I have perfect french fries okay and that's all it takes so I'm gonna do four potatoes here quick and easy okay the recipe that comes with the uh, air fryer has a recipe for french fries and we're going to follow it mostly except one thing so now i have a four potatoes and a full thing of french fries okay so we're going to follow the recipe mostly except i'm going to add one step here that is not in there and i've, I've read a lot of uh, people that make french fries that after this step after cutting them up they soak them in ice cold water and what that does is it uh, eliminates some of the starch and it will keep them from sticking together when we're um, we're going to be rotating in our air fryer basket um, shortly. But before I do that, I'm going to soak these in ice water, and then I'm going to strain them with the Pampered Chef uh, colander and uh, stainless steel. And I will be right back as I uh, soak these uh, in ice water. Okay, so I have soaked my French fries in ice cold water for about 20 minutes. And I can tell a big difference. They're a lot more firm. They don't stick together. Uh, very nice uh, consistency of fries. I wanted to show you real quick. This is a cooking guide that comes with um, all of our uh, electric products, but this one comes with the air fryer. So it's got some great recipes inside. It's got times and temperatures for different meats and vegetables. Uh, so you don't, it takes the guesswork out of all of that. So, uh, but in our French fry manual, okay, the one thing I did that's a little bit different was I did soak the the fries in ice water. Now we're going to put um, some oil on the fries. I'm going to use um, avocado oil. You can use the oil of your choice, but I'm going to put those, put a little oil in, in my bowl, Pamper Chef mixing bowl. Okay. And then season with a little salt and pepper or however, again, how you like fries. I'm going to season with um, Pamper Chef seasoning salt. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in here. Don't want to go crazy because I'll salt them again later. I'm going to stir them up a little bit with my Pampered Chef tongs. My large chef tongs. And I'm going to put just a little bit more. I'm a big salt fan, but it looks 
Get a little salt on our fries. Okay. Now all I got to do is take my coated fries and I'm going to put them in the basket. It comes with the air fryer. And I'm going to put those in here. We don't want to fill it too full because with the you do want the fries to move around. You do want them to get some air in between them. Um, so you don't want to fill the basket too full. Let's put a little bit more in there. Okay. All right. So we're going to cook in two stages. The first stage is a lower heat, which is going to help cook the inside of the fries so they're nice and uh, soft on the inside. And then we're going to kick it up a notch in the next step and we're going to uh, get that crispy outside. So we're gonna start with, we're gonna start on the custom setting. Now, the basket also comes with a handler here, and I don't need this um, in the beginning because it's not hot, but we do need to remember when it comes out that I'm gonna have to use this handle to uh, take it out of the air fryer because it is going to be hot. So all I have to do is, slide the basket back it's set and now i'm going to go to custom and i want to go to so i'm going to hit custom i'm going to go to 15 minutes and i'm going to do 300 so i hit the button 15 minutes i'm going to go to 325 degrees and as soon as i hit the button again it's going to start now i'm going to hit rotate and I'm going to hit light and see if we can see a little bit inside here. Okay, so we've got the light on. We can see that our french fries are rotating. They're going to cook it uh, for 15 minutes at 325 degrees. I'll be back and I'll show you how we're going to put the crispy outside on them. All right, I'm back. I read the directions a little bit wrong. Got to be careful when you read the directions. But um, we're only supposed to do 325 for 10 minutes, not 15 minutes. So I'm going to stop it a little early, and then we're going to kick it up a notch. We're going to go to air fry, 400 degrees for 18 minutes. So I'm going to cancel. And I'm going to select with my selector dial here. Whoops. I'll make sure I'm canceled. Cancel, cancel. And then I'm going to go to air fry. Uh, the the uh, custom setting is 25 minutes, 400 degrees. I'm going to click my button, click my wheel. I'm going to go to 18 minutes. I'm going to keep it at 400 degrees. Hit start. And now we just kicked it up a notch. Now we're going to go 400 degrees. And I'm going to light so I can see that we're rotating inside. Oh, I didn't hit rotate. See, that's a good little check and then hit rotate. So I'm air frying 18 minutes, 400 degrees, and I hit rotate so that the basket will rotate inside. We'll be back shortly to taste some fries. Okay, we're back. Our french fries are done. Just getting ready to take them out. Now remember, ooh, they look great. Remember, you can't reach in and grab that. Um, grab the basket, it is very hot. So we've got, uh, Pamper Chef gives you a, a handler, a basket handler which um, is fairly simple. I practiced just a couple times before I did it because I wanted to make sure I did it when I could do it when it was cool and didn't have to do it when it was hot. That's the first time I've ever taken one of those out. So it uh, worked great. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. Now I'm going to open this up and remembering that it's still hot because I want to reach my hand down there and do that. But all i got to do, my Pamper Chef mitts, there's just a little clip that comes open. And I think I'm going to just dump this in a bowl. I've got a napkin in here or a paper towel just to kind of absorb any extra grease. Oh, my goodness. These look and smell delicious. Ooh, don't burn yourself. Okay. There we go. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more salt. Okay. Before I taste that... I want to admit to two things. One, this is the first time I've ever done this in the air fryer. This is the first time I've ever used the basket. It was super simple. Uh, that's the one thing that I love about Pampered Chef is that, um, I mean, that's the goal. Pampered Chef is here to uh, make your life easier in the kitchen, make it easier for you to make uh, meals for yourself and your family. Um, the other thing is I've been kind of almost dreading making French fries. I've never really, I've never done it before. And so I thought, well, um, I just keep putting it off, putting it off, because I thought it was going to be difficult. It couldn't have been easier. Um, the rapid prep mandolin makes the fries in a perfect shape. 
Um, the air fryer cooks them perfectly. They look delicious, and I don't have to deep fry them. So I'm going to give them a taste. But, uh, yeah, my first time using the basket, first time making fries. Wow. Wow. They're very crisp. They're very tender inside. I'm glad we did the first step. We cooked them great inside, and they are super crisp. They are just perfect. If you're looking for one reason to get the air fryer, there are hundreds of reasons to get the air fryer. But let me tell you, these French fries are worth everything for this air fryer. I'm telling you, they are crisp. You cannot tell that they're air fried. You would think that they came right out of a fryer. Delicious. So click down below, check out the air fryer. You won't be disappointed. Hmm. I'm going to pour myself a little ketchup. Have a few more fries. Be sure and like our video, share the video, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got some great new products and I've got some great recipes coming up on the channel to share with you. So make sure you subscribe so that you can be sure you see them all. Look at these delicious fries. I'm going to bring them a little closer just so you can see. Mm. Oh, yes. You'll want some of those. Wish you had smell of vision, wish you had taste of vision. So I will see you next time on Pamper Chef Cooking with Rob.